Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm recording this. It's about 8 a.m. I couldn't go live this morning. For some reason, I could not get a connection. I don't know what the deal is. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning, though. 70 degrees right now, expecting a high of 83 today. Beautiful blue sky, blue water. Really calmed down a lot out here. The water looks great. No signs of any red tide. One of our little snowy egrets over here, walking the beach. One of our beautiful little friends. at the north end of area three right now. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that sky. Wow. Again, I'm not seeing any signs of red tide here. I know the news is saying we've it's back in Southwest Florida. I don't see it here at Del Nor Wiggins though. There's a look at the water. See the sun reflecting there on the bottom. The waves, the ripples, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I was hoping to see maybe one of our dolphin friends come by this morning. An absolutely great morning for spotting dolphins. So calm out here. Again, for some reason, I could not go live this morning. I was out here for a good 20 minutes trying to figure out what was going on. So I'm just gonna take a little beach walk here and record it. I see one of our Osprey friends perched right up on top of the pine tree there, way up there. Try and zoom in, get a little closer, and I'll zoom in for you. It's all the way up at the very top, all the way up there, he or she. Look at those colors, though. That's as much as I can zoom in. I can get in a lot closer during a live feed. That's a six X zoom, a six time zoom there on the iPhone. When you're recording video, that's the maximum. One of our Ospreys. Way up there. <laughs> Very, very quiet out here this morning. You hear an airplane flying overhead here. Not a whole lot of people out this morning. But it is gorgeous, that's for sure.
need to get another look at that water. Now that we're out in the open sun here, out of the shadow of those pine trees. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous this morning. You can see all kinds of little fish jumping out there. I see some bigger ones just offshore here. A school of something just swam by. Could have been some sheep's head, some snook, mullet. All kinds of interesting things out here. Three more of our little snowy egrets lined up. Right in my shadow. catch something for us. You can really see its little yellow feet. Look. And move on down the beach. Still no signs of any dolphins out there. Darn. Not many people here this morning. Very empty here as we look up the beach. We're about three hours away from high tide right now. Gonna walk up to the area four up here. See what's out. If there's any birds up there on that little sandbar. Maybe we'll get lucky, find a couple shells here. Nothing's caught my eye yet. Boy. Saturday and Sunday were great, great shelling mornings. Found some awesome shells. Give you another look around here. Check and see if any dolphins are sneaking up behind me. Nothing out there yet. No, I don't see anything jumping up out of the water. You can see for yourself, no red tide. Look at that water. 
beautiful. Again, it's Tuesday morning. Hey, around 8.20, I'm guessing right now. 8.15, 8.20 probably. This is not quite the same as a live beach walk. I miss the interaction of all my friends here. Hopefully you're enjoying this little stroll along the beach. It's the best I can do. One thing is it's gonna be a lot clearer, the video. This will be an HD video when it gets posted, what you're watching right now. A little bit better than the live feed quality. Well, that water feels good. It's right about 80 degrees. It says it's 82 out front when you come up to the gatehouse, but it feels a bit cooler than 82. I'm guessing it's at least 80. No shells yet. Nothing has gotten my attention, has grabbed my attention. I do hope that everyone comments here. Even though it's not live, I do hope you make some nice comments. Hopefully there'll be some interaction in the comments. It's one of our little white ibis friends down here. A little white ibis. making his way or his or her way slowly down the beach. Oh, look at that, all ruffled up. Beautiful little birds, the white ibis. And down the beach it goes. Still not seeing any dolphins out there. Well, it's been a little while since we've seen some dolphins. They've been spotted out here later in the day. I just haven't seen them in the mornings. Or, oh gosh, it seems like what? Four days, five days now we haven't seen any dolphins. During our beach walk. We make that clear. We haven't seen any dolphins during our beach walks, our morning beach walks. Well, I'm not seeing the piles of shells like we saw over the weekend. That was just incredible. I was picking up moon shell after moon shell after moon shell. And murex shell. Murex shells galore. Apple murex shells, a lot of them. I'm not seeing them this morning though. Here we are, we're up in area four now, up at Roy's Beach. Roy got a big surprise yesterday. Somebody came out to the beach and they had a shirt for Roy and they wanted to give it to him. They didn't want to go over to his house. Oh, look at that, those are skimmers that just took off there. They just flew at us, those were black skimmers. But anyway, with Roy, somebody brought a shirt to the beach here for him. 
one of our friends from New York that had seen him on Facebook. So what happened is two of our volunteers here, Jackie and Wally, they said, you know what, we'll take you over to Roy's house. They took Roy, they took him, took this gentleman over to Roy's house so he could give Roy the t-shirt and he had quite a little conversation an afternoon there chatting with Roy. And it's just amazing how these Facebook posts are bringing people together like that. I really miss having Roy out here. This is a big part of our beach walks. here watching the birds the skimmers flying in and out these are gulls seagulls right down here to my right we've got some terns some royal crested terns here some skimmers some seagulls some lesser terns I see some lesser terns mixed in here Flying in here any second. There they go. Skimmer birds coming in for a landing. So neat. Even though this isn't the whoa, that startled them. This isn't quite the same as a live feed, but the quality of the video is a lot nicer. You should be seeing a big difference in the quality. I'm gonna zoom back out here. Roy's pine trees over there. So looking forward to having our conversations with Roy under those trees again. Hopefully, hopefully in December, hopefully he'll be able to come back out for his birthday, December 20th, his 94th birthday. He's doing good though. I see him in the mornings walking. He walks for at least an hour in the mornings in Naples Park. And now he's got a little red flashing light on his walker, thankfully. He's doing great. Very peaceful Tuesday morning, very quiet. Well, there's a piece of a little broken tulip shell down here. Piece of a tulip shell. Oh well. There's a little jewel box, half of a jewel box shell. Those are neat. The jewel box shells. There's their ridges. Thought I saw a piece of a apple murex down here somewhere. Piece of a moon shell over there. Just a sliver of a moon shell. walk up the beach just a little further see if we can find anything interesting a 
little slipper shell. One of our more common shells, the slipper. Flip it over, it looks like a little slipper. It's gorgeous. Another morning in paradise. Another piece of a tulip shell. Seeing lots of little, lots of little um, olive shells out here. All different size olive shells. There's a little baby olive shell. Seeing lots of worm shells out here. Worm tips. Here's a bigger olive shell. That's a nice olive right there. Two little olive shells. Look at this ridge of shells right here. Wow. All crushed, lots of broken shells. But it's just a big ridge, a big pile of them. Take a look down to the south there. Beautiful as we look out into the Gulf this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Take a little walk out here into the water. Look at that. Beautiful colors out here. Tons of little fish swimming around out here. Tons of little tiny fish in the water. I don't know if you can see them down there. Little black spots. Schools and schools of little pinfish. Where's our dolphin? Oh, the water feels great out here. Beautiful blue sky, white clouds. A little broken. Is it a lightning whelk or a pair whelk? Piece of a lightning whelk. Piece of a lightning whelk down there. Me and my broken shells. <laughs> There's a little fighting conch. Little baby fighting conch shell. There's a murex down there. Little apple murex. I'm seeing the tip on it though. How are you doing this morning? That's fine. How about you? Great. Lots of pieces of worm rock out here. Another piece of a shark eye, a little shark eye. Another broken, little broken tulip shell. There's a moon shell down there. There we go, there's a little moon shell. Lots of these little worm, worm shells. Okay, <laughs> hey, the 
just never know what you're gonna find. I usually never go home with empty pockets, that's for sure. So I got a little Murex and a couple little olive shells this morning, a moon shell. There's another little moon shell. There's another little moon shell. A smaller one. Well, I've been finding a lot of these on the beach lately. Get some sunlight on it here. Not much light. <laughs> Here's another one. This is a nautica. Looks very similar to a moon shell. Just doesn't have that dark black eye like the moon shell. There's another one down there. Wow. Again, lots of moon shells still on the beach this morning. Or nautica shells, should I say. These are nauticas. Here's a nice and interesting little worm shell. That's an interesting looking wormy. Look at that one. That's kind of cool. Wow, we've been walking for almost a half hour already. I don't know how long I'm gonna go here. But you'll know when you watch this video how long I went. <laughs> I was going to go for a half hour, but it looks like I'm going to be going longer. Now that I'm finding some interesting little shells up here, I'm up in Area 5. Just crossing into Area 5. The shells are starting to thin out now. I want to turn around and go back and look at the birds. Give you one more look at those birds, those skimmers. Those are neat. The black skimmer birds with their orange beaks. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Excuse me. Do you know what happened to Ray? To Roy? Yeah, he's got uh, an infection in his leg, uh, and so he's not allowed to come to the beach anymore. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, he um, almost lost his leg. Wow. It's called flesh-eating bacteria. Uh, okay. He went in the water here with an open sore on his leg and got an infection, and it ate a big hole in his leg right down into the bone and everything. You can see the bone. And wow. So he almost, lost, he almost died, actually. He passed out here on the beach, okay. and then they took him to the hospital. So he, he's at home he's, okay. he's getting better he i mean he, it's amazing he's 93 years old and he's yeah. recovering he's doing really well okay. Okay. but um yeah. we're hoping december his birthday is december 20th 94 hopefully he can uh, come not, out here for that december, yeah. say hello roy yeah. okay yeah, yeah. You, you can go visit him if you want no. he's, he likes getting visitors <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. okay Everybody wants to know where Roy is. We all miss our friend Roy, that's for sure. I promise I'll get over to his house and do a little video with him here just so everybody can see his smiling face and hear that harmonica. This is just so strange walking the beach here and not seeing the comments screen. I can't read those comments, but I can see them coming across in the live feeds. It's so different. 
I feel like I'm out here all by myself. I don't have all my friends walking with me. Hopefully I'll get that figured out what the problem is with the live feed here. I paid my phone bill, just barely. <laughs> so I don't know what the deal is. But hey, as I always say during my beach walks, I don't get paid to do this. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, that's it's always appreciated. And you can find my pay, my link to my PayPal account right here in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. Helps go towards the phone bill. That's for sure. The phone and other little incidentals here. I've seen people commenting that I'm making tons of money off these beach walks. <laughs> no, I'm not. If I get, oh, $100 a month, that doesn't even pay the phone bill, but that's about what comes in, around $100, $120 a month is what people kind of send in. Like I say, every little bit helps. It makes my wife happy. She really is not thrilled with me being out here walking the beach like this, because I should be doing other things. What did I see down here? An old crown conch shell. Old crown conch. Wow, Sunday. I'm sure you saw the photos and from down at the Celebration Park, the new food truck court down in East Naples, down on Bayshore, is that Bayshore Drive or Bayshore Road? It's down the road that you'd take to go to Windstar. It's right on Henderson Creek. Really interesting. Eight food trucks. A waterfront bar that is accessible by boat. And then I'm sure you saw the video of that little tiki tiki boat. The cruising tikis. That is really cool. It's like a little tiki hut up. And it's got a bar in the middle of it. Bring your own booze. Bring your own bottle on the thing. You need to check that video out. Check out their website. Cruising tikis. That is pretty cool. That's about as far as I'm going. This is, there's a lot of people out there shelling, walking the water, looking for shells. I don't know if you can see them up there. A lot of folks out in the water. One man fishing, two guys fishing, two people shelling in the water up there. Huh. Absolutely beautiful. You can look up, see the condos up there along Fort Myers Beach. That's pretty neat. Nice clear morning. Well, are we gonna get lucky and see a dolphin maybe on the way back? I don't know. This is gonna be a big video to upload. Hopefully it won't be too big for YouTube. I don't know what their size limit is. But we're going to find out. If you're able to watch it, it wasn't too big. I'm surprised I found a few more shells this morning to take home. Some moon shells, a little murex, a couple nice little olive shells, but a neat little worm shell. I got some, whoops, dropped my moon, one of my 
one of my Nautica shells. There's still more in my pocket. And I think I just saw another moon shell down here on the ground. Some of the stuff I found this morning, some of the shells. Looks like this one's broken down here on the ground. Looks like a piece of one. Yep, just the top. Just the top of a Nautica shell. Cat's eye, I hear people call them cat's eyes too. Cat eyes, cat's eyes. Be sure to share this video. Like and share it if you like it. I know it's different. Not the same as a live feed. People starting to show up at the beach now, that's nice. The water is gorgeous though, absolutely gorgeous. Good morning. I don't know where our friend Shark Tooth Bill is. He gets down in November here. Maybe he'll be here after Thanksgiving. He has got the best luck when it comes to finding shark's teeth on this beach. He's always got a pocket full of them. Finding anything good this morning? Oh, oh yeah? What, you got some good thing? What, yeah. You, oh yeah, look at that. We have shells for the shell tree. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you got a little bit of everything in there. Yeah. Turkey wing, a little tulip. Oh wow. Nice. Thank you. Good job, kids. <laughs> So nice seeing families out here enjoying nature instead of sitting in front of their video games. Look at this water. It feels great out here. Thought I saw something there under my feet. Earlier, I was talking about the water temperature. The, up at the front gate, the sign on the front gate says the water temperature is 82 degrees. I don't believe that. I think it's warmer than that. Or cooler than that. I'm sorry, warmer, cooler. It's got to be at least 80 if not cooler. Remember, the colder it gets, the less chance of having red, the red tide, having the red tide here. The red tide, that red algae bloom does not like the cold water, so hopefully it'll get nice and cold. Be sure to go to nonstopmaples.com. Download the Nonstop Maples app for your mobile device. Get on our rewards program. It's free, costs you nothing. You got nothing to lose. Isn't that water gorgeous? I mean, just. Beautiful. Look how clear it is right in here. There are tons of little bait fish, little pinfish, you know, an inch, an inch and a half. It's 
swimming around all out here. That's what our birds eat, all of our little shore birds. But look how clear it is. Absolutely beautiful. up to the north there. There's one of my favorite views, looking back at the beach there. Absolutely gorgeous. Look up, so look up to the north there. You can see all the condos, all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. All we need to see is a dolphin leaping up out of the water right there. That'd be so cool. Again, I don't know what happened with my live video feed this morning. No idea why I could not get a connection. It's very disappointing. Good morning. Feathered friends again. Our little sandpipers over here on the left. You'll see them start scurrying around here. My little beach mice, I call them. They just run around in little packs. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful here. Look at that big seagull back there. Can you see that one big seagull? That thing's huge. That is a huge gull right there. That is one big bird. That must be the grandpappy there. That is a big seagull. Wow. Must be right down here. Beautiful lightning well. A nice, big, beautiful lightning well. Wow. It's got a little chip in the side, but it's a nice looking little shell. Wow. There's a, darn it, big broken tulip shell. Little story of my life. The broken tulip shells. Somebody said that'd make a song, Broken Shells. <laughs> or a sermon. Good title of a sermon, Broken Shells. A little lightning wealth there. I want to thank everybody for watching, for tagging along this morning, a little different than normal.
But I hope you enjoyed this little walk. 45 minutes, not bad, not shabby. All by myself without my friends. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like, and when you do, hit that like and share button. Nobody pays me to do this. If anybody wants to send a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. For those that have sent something, thank you so much. Well, have a wonderful Tuesday, wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.